Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. It is Tuesday, and that means we have the one and only real estate entrepreneur, Omar, with us. How you doing, buddy? Good. What's happening, Michael? What's going on, everybody? Doing, doing the episode from home today. I love it. I love it. We, it's important for us to get these done, so thank you for doing that. Absolutely. So, hey, video number one is going to be a talk about the importance of reserves. Reserves is something that's probably very easy for folks to understand as a real estate investor, because you have capital, you have bad debt, you know, tenants ghost you, all of those things. But as a entrepreneur, as a real estate broker, as somebody who's doing flips and wholesales and Airbnbs, you know, you got a lot going on and obviously reserves are important for you. So let's just remind folks that, uh, you know, without reserves, it is very easy to go bust, even if you are a very good operator. Reserves keep you alive through air pockets and, and the like. So let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm talking about this because it's what I'm going through now. Um, and if it wasn't for reserves to withstand, you know, if you want to flip one house, two houses, okay, you can manage it. But even at every level, mm-hmm. you still have to have a good number of reserves because you still have that interest only payment that comes out every single month, regardless if your guys showed up to your project or not, yeah. regardless if the tenant paid or not, yeah. regardless of um, the house needs a bunch of repairs, regardless of anything, you own real estate, you're mm-hmm. going to have a payment. Yeah. And that reserves needs to happen. You need to have that, that reserve of five, six months, seven months um, at a time, mm-hmm. just in case, because that swing is a 90 day cycle from acquisition to the fixing it up to mm-hmm. the disposition it uh, or disposition of the asset or renting. So yeah. at the same time, it's like you have to have that, um, that cushion. Mm-hmm. And honestly, when you start scaling, you got to have more reserves. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. I mean, the, res- the, the, the feeling I have now with more projects, managing this, managing that, and along with um, trying to scale, get to 50 to 75 flips a year, um, that doesn't happen without any reserves because yeah. Yeah. that payment or those payments come out regardless. So yeah. you got to figure you got to have to have that happy medium and it's, it's a challenge, but it's, it's a good one. This is where, this is where your normal business is super key. This mm-hmm. is where Michael kept doing his business to make him $150,000, $200,000 a year, whatever it was, to use that money to go buy real estate. Yeah. And he kept floating that money to make the changes, make the repairs, borrowed money, but the payments were still there. And I guarantee you his, or I guarantee your income, Michael, correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. paid for some of those properties along the way. Oh, there's no question. Uh, I've been very clear, right? Olivia and I both made six figures a year each during our journey, or at least most of our journey. And yeah, I mean, especially during 2010, 11, when the market was way down and no banks would lend to us. I mean, we only had one option, right? Right. Um, right. So we definitely used our income to do that. And I want people to really hear this because again, you may be a new flipper. Maybe you've done three, four, five flips over the last few years. And guess what? The market's different today. Not only, I mean, the market's still hot, but what I'm talking about is the process from purchase to sale got longer. Oh. Uh, very longer i know i know one couple who have been uh who bought an older home and as you know older homes have what's called custom windows right they were just different in the 1920s and 1930s and they're cute and as somebody is doing a flip you want to keep them right they're little like 18 inch windows you know three of them together those don't come from home depot right you got to go get those custom built and in the past those were you know a three week maybe maybe four week so you could order them day one and, and get it day 30. Now windows can be four, five, six months. And if you know, if you if you order them day one and they don't show up by day 60, you got a choice. Do you go to Home Depot, which buy ordinary windows, and you got to cut them out? And it's just you got to maybe repaint and restucco. And it's just, it just, and all of that, every first that interest only payment comes out. Whack, whack right? Just a, another payment. So you got to have the reserves. You got to manage your timing. Even builders, Polte, Lennar, they have these dead days. They used to count dead days on one hand. 
Now they're counting dead days on one hand every month. Oh, I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, it's nuts. Like, oh, no job, no work done today. There goes 500 bucks in interest or in their case, 50,000 or whatever it is for all that. <laughs> exactly. Yup. It's just, you got to be, you, 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 you've got to have reserves. And I would say going into the next year or two, you got to have more reserves because you don't know, you just don't know what's coming. The market could slow down. It could speed up. It, it could do lots of things. Just have more reserves today, I would think. You know, it, it's, it, you got reserves, Michael. Um, I do too. You know, and, and this is where I want to talk to everybody that's out there that wants that second, third, fourth, fifth, eighth flip, 10th flip, you know, in the last 12 months that you're having, you know, and you still have four, you know, a few projects you got to get super clear because, and, and your, your team has to be on point um, because, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'll be transparent. You know, we got nine projects going, three projects each crew. Um, and I have two houses right now that have not been touched mm. in one week. Okay. Now, if you multiply that by a whole lot of, you know, extra time, um, is that going to, cause a problem yes yeah. it, it will cause a little bit of frustration and extra money that you shouldn't be spending because and these two are already dedicated flips i already know my exit clause mm -hmm. i already know that that's what i'm doing yeah but obviously they're packed they're bombarded and by the way they're not working with anybody else yeah they're just your, my stuff yeah you're lucky enough to have that right you have scale where you can have teams busy yes um, if you're just a one one and done kind of flipper i mean just it's have scary. more, have more reserves, carrying costs, be, be more, con and again, a lot of you that are buying deals today, you're uh -huh. overpaying, you're yes, overpaying you into a rising interest rate environment with a lot of dead days. It, you know, it's, I want to be very clear about 10 months ago, you and I had a conversation. It was the best time ever to do lipstick. Best flips. time, best time. Today, worst time to do lipstick flips. I'm just so nervous for anybody who's buying one today. I'm, I'm, and you know what, but on, on closing here, Michael, um, I, I want to share, yes, you have your reserves, but this is the one thing I don't want you guys to do. Oh, let me just go start flipping and forget about your normal income. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Do not forget about that normal income because that normal income will, will, will fund yeah. your new flipping journey consistently. Absolutely. So keep the, keep the pedal of the metal on your normal career or business that brings you income. And then use that money to buy flips, but make sure you have some reserves. Let's go. Absolutely. And again, being an entrepreneur is a lot of fun, but sometimes you got to be conservative. Again, you could still you could still be profitable and go out of business. You just have there's this there's a, a balance sheet, there's an income statement, but the most important financial statement is the least talked about, and is called the cash flow statement. Cash flow. You can go broke. Oh. You could be a millionaire. You could be profitable, and you could still go bankrupt. If your cash flow is wrong, Omar, where can people find you? Guys, follow me on IG at Omar underscore Alfaro or go to my website, omaralfaro.com. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome.